and welcome back to another chapter of the Beard Zero Saga. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So, already, you have an idea what I'm out here doing today. I'm out here testing the Kraken Guard lure that I made in Release the Kraken Part 1. So, here in Part 2, I'm doing a very important part, and I am testing this lure to see if I can actually catch something with it. So today is an extremely exciting day for me to be out here on the lake, and I'm glad that I have the ability to have you with me while I'm doing it. So, these are the first few casts that I ever made with the Kraken Guard lure. I never fished with it before. Um, it, this is the first time it's ever touched the water. And here, I'm just making casts, and how I fish with this is I just fish with it on a Texas rig with, like, maybe a... Uh, I don't know, maybe up to a 3 8 ounce weight on there, up to, but generally I use a little bit smaller than that, but up to a 3 ounce weight and just a regular bass hook. And what I'm doing is I'm casting it out past a little drop off that's out probably about 15, 20 feet off of the shoreline here that you can't see, but I'm casting out past it with this lure, reeling up a little bit, letting it fall right next to this drop off. And then I'm just twitching it as I'm bringing it up the drop off. And I'm only moving this bait a few inches at a time with these little twitches that I'm doing with my rod tip. Now, believe it or not, these tiny little twitches have incredible action that they impart on this lure while it's working its way along the bottom, which you'll actually get to see a little bit of that here shortly. But for now, just talking to you and fishing in the background. But anyways... And it didn't occur to me till after I had filmed this video that it was actually one of the most important things I've ever done as a bait maker, as a fisherman, to go out if I were to catch something on this day with this Kraken Guard lure, that it will be so special that no one will have ever done it in, in the entire world, ever. And that's pretty rare because... Experts say that they estimate that over the entire time that humans have walked the earth, that there's been about 108 billion of us to have ever done so. So one out of 108 billion people that have ever walked this earth, and I am the only one to have ever done it, at least to now, that I'm aware of, unless somebody else made a Kraken Guard lure in the past and kept it them to themselves and didn't put it on YouTube. But... To the best of my knowledge, I am the only one that has ever done this. So, if I do catch a fish today, it will be like almost a, a world record. That could be something for the Guinness Book of World Records. I wonder how they would feel about that, catching a fish off of that lure. But, I'll have to check into that and see. So, as you can see, you know, my casts, although they're not super long, they take a long time in between, so I'm not going to show you every single cast I made with this, but I did make approximately six to eight casts before I moved on to a different location. And also, just to fill you in on why there's no sound today, on this particular day, I was out fishing with two of my friends. I was out with CJ and I was out with Trucker JB, who is in town for a few days and because they were they were with me and I wasn't sure how they felt about being on my channel, I decided just to not have any audio and not have them on the channel. But either way, they were with me. We were having a great time this day. And apologies here. I really thought I was standing out of the way of the camera for this frame. But where I'm standing on the right side of the camera, I can't see what the camera sees from there. So I thought I was standing out of the way, trying to stand behind this little bush here. So I'm not, you know, just standing out there for all the fish to see me. But so this is the very first cast that I made with the Kraken lure here at this new location. As you can see, I just put it on there and I just cast it out. Now, in just a minute, you are going to see some really, really exciting footage here. So right where that arrow is, right in front of it, if you focus here in just a moment, you're going to see when I twitch my rod, you'll see a little flash. 
And then you'll see the fish go for it and go off with it. And then I set the hook and I got him. So I have done it. I have landed a bass on the Kraken lure. I was just, I was at a loss for words. I, I laughed. Me and my buddies were having a great time. It was the greatest thing. But unfortunately, that lure, it made it through the first fish that I caught. But within about two or three casts after that, it ultimately got snagged up and lost to the depths of the lake, which is unfortunate. It, I spent a lot of time putting these lures together, so to lose it so quickly. But Either way, at least I caught a fish on it. So, it can be done with the artistic lures. They can catch fish. They certainly don't seem to be bothered by that at all. That bass attacked that thing. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch this. And this was a very special moment for me. So, again, thank you.